Not real warm out today, but that sun sure is hot. Today, I'm gonna be working on the wife's Mitsubishi Eclipse. This is a 2000, what the heck, a two, 2001, I believe. And the problem that she encountered over the weekend when she went up to her parents is that her floorboard got all wet. My first thought was leaky windshield. And then we got thinking about it a little bit and we believe that the air conditioning, the drain for the air conditioner, I think is plugged up. From what little reading about this that I've done on the internet, it sounds like that's a common problem in these cars, so that's probably what it is. To get to the drain, which you can't see from right here, it's back in that area down. May have to take the battery out, need to take the air tube off, and then you can get to it. And I believe it's just a little piece of plastic, basically, that sticks through the firewall and allows, and allows water to drain out. So if I can gain access to that, I may try sticking something in there and also take the shop back and try sucking something out of there. And hopefully that works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take these two clamps off and pull this air tube out of here. That was simple enough. So I have that air hose taken off and there's a piece of insulation right along the firewall that you have to lift up and then sticking out about that far out of the firewall, maybe not even that far, is this a plastic tube. That's the drain for the air conditioner. There's also, looks like a seal that goes around the outside of it, which looks like it may be deteriorated a little bit. So I may try to seal that up a little bit of something. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. I've got my flashlight on it down there and I really can't see if you can see. A little tube sticking out of the firewall. That's the drain. So now I'm gonna find something, a little piece of wire or something and stick it up in that tube. And I may try to get the shop back nozzle down. I don't know if I can get it in there and see if I can suck anything out of it. Other than that, don't really know what to do unless water is coming out of that tube. And as you go down the road, it gets blown back against the firewall past that seal. But there's a piece of insulation that flops down over the whole thing. So I don't see how wind could really be blowing it back, but anything's possible. So what I've done is I have that little tube showing down there and then I hooked up, well, you can't see it, but there's a piece of heater hose that I fit over that tube up against the firewall. And then I'm going to, and then I'm gonna try sucking out on it with the shop vac, which I don't have the right connector here, but that heater hose will fit right inside here and then I can seal it off with my hand pretty well and I'll see if we can unclog it if it is clogged. Well, there's no moisture in this that I can see. So it's either really clogged up or there just isn't any moisture there. I did have, I did have it running just for a couple minutes before pulling it in here. I may start it up again and see if water starts coming out of that. I sucked it out with a vacuum. I also blew some compressed air up in there and then I sucked it out again. I'm not getting anything out of it. I don't, I don't know if I should at this point. So around that little tube, I'm going to seal it off with some of this 3M, 3M tape. So if it is water coming out of the tube and back around that seal, hopefully it will solve that problem. So now that I've got that sealed up with that tape, which I hope holds, this job's done until I hear that it leaks again. This little car is kind of a pain to work on. There's, there's no room under the hood. And that's that. So with that job done, it is getting warm. On my phone it says it's 90 degrees. Down here in the shop, it says it's about 80. But it feels like it's about 100. It, I don't know if it's really humid or something. Thought I would show you in here, 
I did get I did get this 1917 Nebraska plate that was sent to me hung up. I think any old plates like that, I may hang up in the office. I have a couple old plates of my own. This one is 1949, which it clearly says 1949. This one, I believe, is 19... I think that's a 1917. I think it's either 17 or 18. And I believe it's 17, but I'm, I may be wrong. Speaking of license plates, I have the license plate wall going. And if you have a license plate or anything else for that matter that you would like to see on the Fox Shop, the address is in the description below. So a quick little video on what I think is a common problem on the Mitsubishi Eclipse is the air conditioning, the drain leaks back on the driver's side floorboard and it very well may be the seal around that drain, little drain tube. If that's the case, it may leak again because I'm not real sure how good that tape is going to work. If it does leak again, then I think I know I need to get down in there and really seal it up with some kind of caulking or something. I did stick a wire up in it again, and I stuck it quite a ways up in there and moved it all around. Blew air in it, sucked it out with a vacuum. Didn't get any moisture out of it. Don't know if I should have. Hopefully it's fixed. And I know, I know I, I need to get that fixed. So that's it for today. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.